Thank you for being a friend. Oh, oh. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> In today's video, we're going to be talking about BoxyCharm add-ons and, okay, like this is potentially very far-fetched, but are they going to be bringing us another box? Is the boxy box going to be changing? Who knows? I don't know. Anyways, as you guys know, I, I do not work with BoxyCharm. I just scour the internet. You guys send me DMs and... Uh, that's what today's video is all about. Before we jump into it, you guys, if you're new here, hey, welcome. My name's Rhonda and I run on a ton of caffeine. But fortunately, it's a judgment-free and drama-free zone where I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday at 12.15 Eastern Standard Time. Hopefully, this is a channel for you. You'll stick around, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. And let's go ahead and talk about my crazy thoughts, my theories. But fortunately, I got a friend who uh, her brain works the same way as mine. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay guys, so before I talk about why I'm curious and think potentially that they're potentially, potentially? Why does it sound like I'm saying it weird? Potentially, possibly, we'll just say possibly. Possibly another box coming to BoxyCharm. Before I get into all of that, let's talk about our BoxyCharm April base box, when the add-on dates and the choice dates are, and I will pop a little picture. As you guys know, like I said, I scour the internet looking. I go on Instagram, Facebook, you guys, whatever it may be, so I can make these videos for y'all. So for the April base box, we have Mar um, yeah Monday, March 9th, for the premium and luxe members, that's when you are able to get your choices in there, add-ons, what have you. Then we have on Thursday, March 10th, for all base box members. So that means that on March 9th, I keep wanting to say April, March 9th, all of the premium and luxe members, and then if you only have the base box, March 10th for the April box, you can go ahead, make your choice, add on, etc. Okay. <sighs> you guys, I haven't filmed in a couple days. I've been a little like <sighs> tired off, what have you. And it, it's more or less my husband went off keto again. He started snoring. Yes, I'm throwing him under the bus. Husband. Um, anywho. But I'm back. I'm highly caffeinated. And let's talk about my questions for BoxyCharm. Okay, so my good friend, Sasha, hey girl, hey! She watches like all of the videos. She's like a number one supporter, love her so much. She called me, I guess it was like last week, and she's like, hey, I got this email from BoxyCharm. She's been a longtime member of BoxyCharm as well. And she's like, I've never gotten this before. It was a quiz that I got to take, and it was like giving me multiple choice and options and all of this stuff. It's crazy. Do you want to see the pictures? I'm like, Psh, yeah. So she sent me 26 different pictures. I think it was 26. It was a ton. And I'll be popping them up over here as I'm talking with you guys. Let me scoochie scoochie. I love the Golden Girls. Like, seriously. Totally makes me think of my grandmother. Okay, anyways, can't focus. <laughs> Never. Anyways, so I'm going to just go through the products with you guys, and I want y'all's feedback on this. Like, mind you guys, I have, like, no connections whatsoever with BoxyCharm. I have, like, no inside tips or inside information where I can go and ask anybody. I literally rely on, you know, like I said, Instagram, you guys, Facebook, whatever. Okay, so... This starts off with the first question. Which product would you prefer to receive in your future box? Now, unfortunately, there's like a little like star doohickey there. So I don't know, like on the screenshot, it doesn't show me like what that little star could potentially stand for. Is it called an You know what? I'm not going to even say what I think it's called because I don't want to look like a total ding dong. <laughs> School years are over with, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so which product would you prefer to receive in your future box? We've got multiple choice of Living Proof Blowout Spray, Pure Heels Charcoal Cleansing Foam, and then the X. So I'm saying, I'm assuming it's like neither. Then we have, which product would you prefer? The Foley Fire Matte Manipulation 
trio that retails for $39.99. It looks like it is a lipstick trio. Or Lava Lashes or Nada. Uh, let's see. We have the Dermalect XL Lash Volumizer. Ooh, is that like a lash serum? I don't know, but Boxy Charm, if you're watching my video, I would pick that. I want all the lash growth the girl could possibly get. Anyways, or the uh, Hava, I think is how you say it, hand cream, $36. Moving on, we've got the Zoe Zoeva Blush Duo Palette, which by the way, that Zoeva Trio is supposed to be in our Boxy Lux for March, just saying. And then we have the Aesthetica Highlighter or Neither. We have on the next one, it's a Coast whatever, Wet Lip Oil or Frank body original coffee scrub then how excited would you be to receive this box as a possible future box and then it has the glam glow then it has like a makeup palette uh some brushes sugar rush i think and then some sort of chubby pencil thingy and then it gives you all of these options which again i'll be popping up through here but this next option of would you be excited if you received this y'all I was geeking out I was excited about it because if you see right here okay right here off to the side I've got like over here I have concealers over here I have concealers which you really can't see hold on they're here I'm gonna show you guys I'm not cutting this part out because I want you to see that I'm not fibbing see I got those so one of the options is it looks like it's a Kate Somerville ex Kate, which I still have yet to get one of those I actually I'm fibbing I think I got like maybe a itty bitty teeny tiny sample but the Too Faced Born This Way concealer which obviously I have and I've okay makeup we're gonna sidetrack welcome to the Gemini Italian ADHD strong caffeinated crazy girl that likes to take a left hand turn and just ramble on here I am here I go so a lot of the times I go complexion, okay wait, that made no sense. A lot of the times I go foundation free, concealer free. And then sometimes I am like, you know what, I don't want to do that. I want to play in makeup. Today was one of those days. Actually the past couple days have been like that where you guys have seen me in some of the videos talking about going back through my foundation and concealer stash. Example. Today, I have my Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation on, and if you guys are curious, you guys have been asking, you want to know my shade, 310 Silk, that's what I have on. As far as concealer, I don't remember, AOA Studio, I do remember, AOA Studio, and I forgot, hold on, uh, did I do something again? Ah, I remember now, this. This is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. So I used both of those, and then, because I'm extra thin, I went in with the, some of this Too Faced Concealer. Anywho, that is something that we could potentially see in a future box. And then there's some other stuff, but that had me really, really excited. Then, you know, everything is sticking with very makeup theme, okay? So I'm just going to pop up the last one, the blush. Then, here's where things start to shift. And then I started to kind of like, hmm. So this is the Luna Crescent Necklace from Ellie Vale, and, and they're asking if you'd be excited to see that in your box. And I'm like, oh, that's cute. And then it goes one step farther and it shows us some earrings, a bracelet, another necklace, uh, more necklaces, earrings, like jewelry. We go back to makeup, skincare, is it skincare? No, it's nail care, tattoos. Like her and I were both like, uh, Joe, I'm sending you head mail, the CEO of BoxyCharm, please do not put tattoos, like these little temporary tattoo packs, please don't put those in our boxes, <laughs> ever. <laughs> like, take however much that's worth and give me like a lipstick or an eyeliner or, or something, you know, highlighter. I'll even take a highlighter. No temporary tattoos. Just saying. Again, if you guys are, if BoxyCharm, if you're watching this, please no temporary tattoos. Anywho, then... Then there's an option of a robe, the satin robe and leopard print. And then it goes into some coffee scrubs and you know, we kind of go back to the beauty, what have you. Oh, there's my husband. 
so random today. Anyways, guys, so this got Sasha and I talking about, you know, BoxyCharm and the future of BoxyCharm. And is this something that maybe potentially we're just going to start seeing these kind of products in our Boxy Lux? Well, then Joe sent this video, or not sent, he didn't send it to me, he put it on his Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead and play that video for y'all. So we're coming in, uh, really exciting. I'm gonna start releasing around March what new brands are gonna start showing up in the box, what brands you've seen before are going to come back again. And um, specifically now I'm gonna go and meet a few brands in New York. I'm excited because with many of them, we're gonna have collaboration on exclusive products that are gonna go only for charmers, so stay tuned. Okay, so when I listened to that Instagram post, I was like, hmm. And then I went back and started thinking about this pictures that she received and the quiz and the questionnaire and all of that stuff, and I, it, I started to wonder, and her and I both were like, are they leaning towards a lifestyle type of box? You know, like he says, he's gonna bring brands back that we've already seen in our box, but there's also gonna be new brands. And I know that this is can this could totally be a far stretch and you know, whatever. But BoxyCharm is obviously known for beauty and makeup and hair care, skincare, all of that stuff. But they're not really known for like necklaces and earrings and robes. That's more of something that you would see in a lifestyle type of box. So Sasha and I got super excited because we're like, oh my gosh, how awesome would this be? Y'all know that I used to absolutely love that fit fun. I loved it. I had it. I was like all about it. And then of course I lost my job in June and I was like, mm, I gotta let it go. I thought I let it go and then I ended up on accident. I didn't cancel it like I thought I did. I mean, I was a hot dog on mess around that time last year, guys, I'm not even gonna lie. And I ended up getting one last box and I wanna say that was the fall box and there is a video on it. I'll try to remember to link it in the description up here or something, probably not. I probably won't cause that's me and I get sidetracked. But anywho, I was so upset with that box. I loved it, I love the different aspects of what we would get in that box it was a lot of you know lifestyle hair care beauty you saw a good mix of everything like i said i feel like boxycharm is definitely known for the beauty side of everything we don't so much see lifestyle types of products so this is when it got sasha and i thinking even more outside the box if you think about it boxy Lux comes every march july october and december okay so four times a year you have the option to get the luxie box or the lux box so i thought you know what what if and, and again this is all like what if wishful thinking hopeful thinking what if they came out with a lifestyle box and on the months that there's not a boxy lux there's like a boxy lifestyle or a boxy style box, you know what I mean? And then we would start to see things like for the, you know, people that are not so much interested in like the makeup beauty side of things and more so into maybe the lifestyle, you know, side of things, maybe this would be a box for them. Like it would totally be a box for me because I'm all about the boxes. I think that they're, all the boxes are amazing. I'm so rambling. Anyways, but I thought, you know, as a business side of things, I think that would be an awesome, great business move. Am I potentially stretching? Is Sasha and I really like hopeful? Yes. This, what are you guys' thoughts? Who else got this quiz? Cause I'll be honest with you guys, I've not gotten, I've never received a quiz like this from BoxyCharm ever. And the only time that I've ever seen a quiz very, very similar to this is when I was doing my customizations back when I was getting FabFitFun. I've only seen things like that. So again, this is something where her and I have never experienced something like this, and this could be completely something that is normal, that BoxyCharm sends out to a select group of people every so often. It's just in the, what, five years that her and I have been getting BoxyCharm, we've never seen anything like this. So we were both like geeking out, all excited, thinking, oh my gosh, BoxyCharm could be bringing another, you know, potential box to us. 
which I'm down for. I'm all excited about. So let me know you guys' thoughts down below. Do you think that maybe potentially BoxyCharm is coming out with a lifestyle side of things? Or is this probably just other options they're going to add into the Boxy Lux type of um, boxes? Which is totally probably maybe what they're going to do. But like I said, I'm very much wishful thinking and rambling because that's what I do. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to know you guys' thoughts on this. Did you guys get the quiz? What are your thoughts on this? Could there be a potential for a boxy lifestyle box? Let me know. Anyways, like I said, going back to the add-ons and everything, you can start making your choices for... April's boxes starting on Monday, March 9th for the premium and luxe members. And then of course, March 10th uh, for the base box. And then it does say April premium box opens on March 12th. So the choices that you'll be making March 9th and March 10th is for your base box. And then everybody who receives a premium box, you will be picking that on March 12th. Hopefully all of that makes sense. Anyways, guys, like I said, over here on this channel, it is um, about embracing the hot mess and running on a lot of caffeine. And like I always say, it's a judgment-free and drama-free zone because mama don't have the energy or time for that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video enough to give me a big thumbs up. I hope you decide to stick around, subscribe, turn your notification bell on because like I said, I do upload five days a week, Monday through Friday. I have a second channel, Hot Mess Mama Vlogs. Not gonna lie, I haven't been that active over there, but I do hope to get back into it here very soon. You guys know your girl struggles with autoimmune disease and it's not fun and some days are worse than others. Today is a good day and we love that. Anyways, I'm going to hop off for now. Thank you again, Sasha, for sharing with me your quiz pictures. I greatly appreciate it and I love you, girl. And oh, oh, time out. You guys always have been asking me what's on my eyeballs every single time. So if you made it to this part and you thought I was ending the video, surprise, I'm gonna tell you right quick what's on my eyeballs. Okay, so I have three different palettes because I love makeup. So of course I've got my Matrix Neutral Palette by Makeup Geek. Wow, the struggle is real there. I am using some colors out of the C Color Cosmetics. This is our latest palette, the Lust in Paradise. And then I have a couple shades from my Pat McGrath. What is this one? Bronze Mothership V. Is that five? God, I look like an idiot. Anyways, it's this palette right here, guys. Okay, guys. Now we're gonna get to the outro. You guys, this is me. This is real. This is this is this is hopefully why you subscribe is because it's always fun to watch a train wreck in action when it's not you, right? <laughs> okay, I'm off it up. I'm off it up. Okay. Anyways, guys, until next time, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Lord be with me. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah. Bye.